Welcome back to the channel and we're at Capital Volkswagen today for me to get to grips with the king of the hot hatch, the Golf GTI. Here it is. The king of the hot hatch for the last couple of decades, the Golf GTI. I'm not gonna wax lyrical about the history and all the versions before that. You've got the comment sections below for that one. However, I have a confession to make. And my big confession is, I've never actually looked to get one. I've never driven one and they've never really appealed to me. So today, this video, instead of giving you is it the best golf version of it yet or what all of that stuff because there's plenty of that on youtube today it's all about me seeing whether or not i can get the gti bug so when it comes to the recipe of a hot hatch it should look like it's an ordinary road going version it looks like a golf except there's a few little style cues such as the gti badges at the front these red accents red brake calipers and some more GTI badging and two great big whopping exhausts at the back. Now we're at the back of the Golf. One of the things that is catching my eye is this, the IQ light design we have at the back. So it's very nice pattern, looks really futuristic, yet still sharp and sporty to suit the car. And when you step inside the cabin of the Golf GTI, you can evidently see that that sporty, futuristic feel is very much carried through. We've got very futuristic touchscreen infotainment systems, which I believe are also motion sensitive, touchscreen buttons across the dashboard as well. And of course, a little GTI badge at the bottom just to remind you of what you're sat in. However, the one thing that does catch my eye more than anything else within this car is the engine start stop button down here, which pulses red almost kind of inviting you to, uh, well, get started and take it for a drive. So now finally I've got the Golf out and about on the drive, doing your normal everyday sort of driving elements. It's quite civilised, it's very easy to drive, it's very capable. Um, the heat and steam wheel fitted to this one is a big win. And what I quite like so far about the Golf GTI is that it's an understatement, but it's enough for that even me, a bold and middle-aged guy with a bit of a pork belly, doesn't look absolutely stupid in it. So if you did pull up to a restaurant or a place when that used to be a thing, you don't look too silly when you get out of the car, rather as you would with maybe some of the, the Japanese offerings, let's say. And that's both is one of the big appeal to about the GTI being a hot hatch that it is a bit of a Jekyll and Hyde situation of a car because it allows you to just blend in when you need to but should you so happen then stumble across a little bit of a B road the car comes into his own and certainly with a little flick of the drive mode button on the dashboard it gives you a bit of a hint of what this car is truly about and why it's been the king of the hot hatch for decades so by chance, we've actually managed to find ourselves on a slightly bendy road and in the countryside of Wales, where something like a Golf GTI kind of comes into its own a little bit more. So usually my thought with a hot hatch would typically be front wheel drive, manual gearbox and a whopping great big turbo. And something that you feel like you can drive to its limits without really being in an element that is too dangerous to do so. This Golf's a little bit different. Uh, those of you with eagle-eyed so far with the footage would have spotted that it's an automatic. Now, should this be too much of a downside? I don't think so. Volkswagen have been very good for many years of uh, producing automatics with DSG gearboxes and with double clutch systems. 
one thing is mentioned is that the response of the gears are particularly good. Sounds good. Could probably do with that little bit of a DSG fart coming back in. Um, however, you know, the government's be they've forcing emissions down, which ultimately is a good thing because it needs to be more sustainable. But I do miss it a little bit. Um, but to be honest with you, the GTI, I, even though it's sort of sensible speeds is very fun it's capable i feel like i can grab it by the scruff of the neck and actually feel i'm getting something out of the car which we sometimes when you go for the more high performance versions can almost feel a bit too capable you don't feel like you're getting to the edge of what the performance of that car can be until you're doing something that's ridiculously dangerous which of course we don't recommend but overall you can have some fun with this car for sure and, and for the price point and where it sits I can see why the Golf has been the king of the hot hatch for so long that from one moment just then I'm driving sensible and really easy to everyday sort of driving to right now hooning around this gorgeous B road with some fantastic scenery with snow up on the top of the hills and everything else around me and it's just fantastic it's really really fun little car and I can kind of see myself catching that little bit of a GTI bug. So sadly, my time with the Golf GTI is coming to an end. I would want to say a big thank you to Capital Volkswagen again for lending me this vehicle for, to get to grips and get to know what a Golf GTI is about. And of course, being out here in this beautiful landscape, even with the snow, it's been hoodles amount of fun, um, very engaging, and I kind of understand now why the Golf GTI has been the staple hold for so long. So even if you're an enthusiast or you're one of these people who like to bolt extra bits to it to get more performance, this car is a great all-rounder for everybody. And if you want to experience a Golf GTI yourself or looking to get more information and get in touch with us, get in to reach out to the guys at Capital Volkswagen, all the contact details are below. Um, we are available even now during lockdown measures, so if you did want to have a chat, we can send a personalised video and everything else to you also. And of course, as we do every time we end the video, if you're interested in more and you like what you see here at the channel, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the next video at all. From me to you, thank you very much for your time and I'm just going to take this golf for one more little go before I take it back. <laughs>